G'day folks. Well, we've got a, uh, another microwave to play with. There's a Panasonic inverter bit built microwave. There's no heavy uh, transformer in there. Lift it with one finger on that side. Most of the older ones you can't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, inverters are kind of crap. Even though my current inverter microwave, which is a newer version of this, is still going, which is good. Um, yeah, when they do die, they're generally not worth fixing. So, it does power up, it's powered up and the mag makes funny noises, like not the healthiest of noises. As you can see we're ready for a test. And it's got a lot of corrosion in the cabinet. There's no plate or um, ring the wheels on it. And there's a lot of rust around the door so I don't think I'll be cleaning this one up and giving it away anytime soon. So, let's see if it can even do a, mic a, a pop of light bulb. So a reset, 30 seconds power, go high, no, yeah power's on, there we go. It works. It stinks though. Like it smells like bad food. It almost smells like a uh, commercial kitchen microwave. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't pop the bulb though. Yeah, it almost smells like a commercial kitchen microwave. This thing's seen a lot of use. It's a mess. The waveguide cover's not the best either. Yuck. It's probably half the problem. It's burning the waveguide cover. That thing's thick with grease. Yeah. Where's the mag pointing downward? There. Well, the camera kind of fritzed out at the last moment, but we did end up with some light bulb art. This light bulb now has an anus. <laughs> That's about all I can think of when I look at that. It's kind of nasty. But it's intact. That looks like an alien eye. I don't know. It just looks alien. <laughs> Inverter microwaves can still pop things. Speaking of popping things, we have that nasty bulging metal halide bulb in there. I've been hanging on to this thing for a while. Ooh, pretty. Oops, there's air inside the envelope. It's doing pretty good. <laughs> Melted some nice big holes in it. And a big one up in there. Wow, inverter microwaves can be tough. It's a shame they die when you really want them to work. At least most inverters seem to be garbage. Hmm, warnings. Maintenance. Hmm. 
Maintenance should be carried out by a qualified person only. Well, normally I'd call cleaning maintenance, but yeah, you know what people are like these days. Alright, let's see what else we can do with this one. I've moved, moved it around a bit and it's been cracking and clicking for a while now, so it should be fun. And it's getting bright. <laughs> Well, there you go, metal halide lamp working inside a microwave. <laughs> it's just sitting there working. Yep. It's fairly hot. Pretty hard to pop them. They're designed to run at extreme temperatures. Not that I want that inner bulb to pop, I really don't. Because, yeah, it's kind of full of mercury. Alright, last test while the bulb cools down outside. Um, Rodolco2007 wanted to uh, see some capacitor popcorn from one of these. Uh, little telephone commander system handset boards. This one is connected to the uh, microphone, so or part of the uh, speakerphone system. It's got lots of little electrolytics unvented ones. This is going to stink, but it'll work. Oh god, does that stink. <laughs> Phew. Well, that's the last of those ones I do inside. I think I should have moved it outside. Oh well. Ventilation fan on. Time to uh, call it quits. Thanks for watching, folks.